what's up guys it's your boy tusk it's here and today we're playing car extra racing online in today's car extra racing online video i'll be showing you guys my ultimate drift setup for the godzilla r3 aka the nissan gtr 33 man if you guys enjoy this video make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications drop a like on this video share the video and comment below what you like about the tune so first things first for anybody new this is a really, really good beginner car. So if you're a beginner at the game and you're tired of using these class one cars, I would definitely go ahead and purchase the Godzilla R3 in case you don't already have it and equip this tune and get on the track and have some fun. So with that being said, let's get into it. First thing you wanna do after you purchase the vehicle is get the ultimate mod on the vehicle. This is the only way you'll be able to run the tune that I have. <clears throat> Second thing you want to do if you have the money to do so is get an RNT body kit or whatever body kit you like. I have the stock headlights, the CBW front bumper, I've got the missile hood, the stock side mirrors, the custom performance roll cage, the RNT side skirt, the stock trunk, the bash bar for the rear bumper. <clears throat> I've got the stock spoiler on there, uh, the stock tail lights, the RNT exhaust, R Corp driver's seat, and no 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 r corp passenger seat takata driver's seat um mono steering wheel i have the racing parts uh handbrake i'm not sure how to say the first part excuse me same thing with the shifter for the rims i have d-spec wheels i've got these wheels on here i feel like they fit the r30 the r33 very nicely i don't know what i just said right there but they fit this car very nicely so you know i just said you know i'm gonna throw those on there and um it's a go so um, before we actually get all the way into the tune, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some lines on Kami Road for just a minute or two, and then I will show you guys the tune, and we will wrap up the video. So, let's go ahead and get into it. As you guys can see, we've got some good gearing right here. It does 360s. Second gear pulls. This thing screams like a demon. <laughs> let's listen to that engine. So as you guys can see, man, this car is actually insane. I mean, I haven't shown you guys too much so far, but it's holding really good lines and it keeps a pretty good speed on this track. Now, remember this car only makes about 700 horsepower. So I really tried my best to get this thing to perform at a level that would be satisfying for beginners, people that are, you know, been playing or even someone that may be a pro like myself. All right. so. If you guys see in the tune and all its glory, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the tune now. But before I show you the tune, make sure you drop a like and comment below. You know what I'm saying? If you made it this far, comment below R33 for the win. And let's get it in, man. Here we go. So, to the dyno stand, your suspension front spring length is going to be 11, rear spring length is going to be 10, front spring stiffness 110, rear 95. Front damper fast bump, 14K. Rear damper fast bump, 12K. <clears throat> Front damper fast rebound, 16K. Rear damper fast rebound, 14K. Front damper bump, 14K. Rear damper bump, 12K. Front damper rebound, <clears throat> 16K. Rear damper rebound, 14K. Front toe, negative 0.40. Rear toe, 0.52. I don't know why it's that high, actually. It should be at 0.31. That was an accident. I don't know why it was that high. Whoa. Front camera negative 5.47, rear camera 1.12. Yeah, but no, for real though, chat. Do not put your rear toe. I mean, you can put it at 0.51. It's not. It was not supposed to be there. I'm not sure if I moved it or if it was an accident, but it's supposed to be at 0 0.31 or 0. Uh, 0 0.31. My bad. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and continue. So front and rear anti roll bar at 20, caster at 8.8, .8, accurate angle at 25%, max steering angle at 58 degrees. For the wheels, your front and rear rim diameter are going to be 18, front and rear tire width 245, front tire pressure 95, rear at 85, front and rear wheel adhesion 100, <clears throat> front wheel track 8, rear base 4, and your front and rear tire profile are going to be 30%. For the engine, go ahead and turn everything all the way up to max. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
For the transmission, it's going to be sequential diff lock ratio 1.00, or if you want an unlocked diff, you could use a 0.85. It's up to you. I've ran this car to 0.85. It feels pretty smooth, but you know me, I prefer a locked diff on my drift car, so I always keep it locked. Final drive 4.00, your 1, 3.15. Gear 2, 1.34, Gear 3, 1.19, Gear 4, 1.11, Gear 5, 1.05, Gear 6, 1.01. <clears throat> Wait, I kind of went fast. Hold on, let me let me slow it down. All right, so there's gear 1 through 5. Go ahead and pause it. And there's gear 6, 1.01. .01. And... For the brakes, your brake torque is going to be 3,500 for bias, 70 percent ABS, no launch control tandems, no. All right, so now that we've made those, well, now that I've showed you guys the tune and we fixed the rear toe, let's just make sure that this thing is still ready to go. And it is. It's still doing its thing. Okay, okay. Let me see if I can do a reverse 360 entry right here. thing is screaming i don't know if you guys can hear me over this thing or not holy moly it is loud all right i'm gonna go online see if i can catch some tandems maybe catch some doors and then we'll wrap up the video let me see what i can find hopefully we can find a good lobby if not i'll just go ahead and wrap it up because i don't want to drag it on if it doesn't need to be dragged on all right here we go <clears throat> let's go ahead and fly over to the gas station and i don't really see oh i see some people are they on hundreds Oh, there are 110s and then one guy's on 120s. Okay. All right, well, I guess that's gonna go ahead and wrap up the video. I'm not gonna sit here and search for lobbies for whatever, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video, man. If you guys wanna enjoy and see more great content like this in the future, like I said, man, make sure you subscribe and turn on all post notifications so you never miss an upload, a tune, a stream, or anything, man. And with that being said, this is Vinny Boy, it's high school, it's playing cards for first online, and today I'll show you guys my ultimate drift setup for the Godzilla R3. Hope you guys have a great day, God bless you, and I'll see you next time.